a local resident found out about that last part the hard way. But she says she shouldn't have been cited in the first place. The reason? She doesn't use city water. Our Iran Hammy navigates us through the legal water she's now pursuing. Elizabeth Benavidez says back in December she found a citation on the front door of her Flower Bluff home. A city compliance officer cited her and her husband for watering their lawn on Saturday when trash pickup day is Friday. But the Benavides family uses well water to irrigate their lawn, an exemption of drought restrictions. We've got two signs, one there and one there, indicating we have a well. Benavides says she tried calling the 311 line to tell the city she thinks they made a mistake. Number eight specifically says water wells are exempt. And they said, well, you're going to get something in the mail saying how you can dispute it. Well, we never got anything in the mail. Now she has to appear in court to see if she, in fact, has to pay the $476 fine. It's a waste of the court's time. It's a waste of our time. And I just think that they really need to streamline their process if they're going to be fining people. After asking the city for a response, they tell me the Benavides family were cited because they have not registered the use of their well water with the city. Benavides says they were not aware of this rule in the 15 years they've lived there. A reason for that is the rule is not listed on the literature the city has put out about drought restrictions. It is, however, listed in the city conservation plan on page 85. There should be some way to dispute it without having to go to court. Benavidez says she will update us on what happens in court on Wednesday. If you need to register your well water, you can find that link on ChrisTV.com. Reporting in Flower Bluff, Iran Hammy, Chris 6 News.